The numbers for February are in. Will buyers have the luck of the Irish on their side this month? Stay tuned and we'll find out. Hey guys, Vinay here with Remax Realtron and TorontoRealEstateGenius.com. Welcome to another edition of the Genius Market Report where we'll be summarizing the Toronto Real Estate Board sales figures for February of 2021. Now let's start by looking at the sales in February and compare them year over year. In February, sales were up just over 52.5% over last year. We had 10,970 sales compared to last year's 7,193 sales. Last month, we had 15,137 new listings, which is up year over year, just over 42.5% from February of 2020, where we had 10,618 new listings. The average selling price in February for all home types was 1,045,000. Then that's up about 15% from 910,000 in February of just last year. Let's have a look at our months of inventory and see how we're doing. So remember, we get the months of inventory by dividing the sales into the active listing. And it's important to remember that below four months is a seller's market, above six months is a buyer's market, and anywhere in between is a balanced market. Now, months of inventory in February was, pay attention, 0.7 months. That's under one month of inventory, and that's down from 1.2 months of inventory in February of last year. Finally, we want to look at our days on market. Our average days on market in February was 19 days, which is down from 24 days in December of this year. Record home sales continued in February in the GTA. Buyers remain confident and continue to take advantage of the low borrowing costs. We continue to see multiple offer situations as buyers compete for available listings, especially with the low rise properties. We're also seeing that the spillover of the resale condo. Record home sales continued in February in the GTA. Buyers remain confident and continue to take advantage of the low borrowing costs. We continue to see multiple offer situations as buyers compete for available listings, especially with the low rise properties. We're also seeing that spill over into the condo resale market. In February, the detached, semi-detached, and townhome market segments in suburban areas were the drivers of the average price growth, with annual rates of increase of about 20% in all three cases. I believe low inventory, specifically in these home types, will continue to be the case for the remainder of 2021, and I see prices continuing to rise in 2021. If you're thinking of selling, there had not been a better time. Want to chat more about real estate? Make sure you give me a call. If you're not ready yet, not a problem. Let's have a virtual coffee and put together a plan so we can help you achieve your real estate goals. Thank you guys for tuning in to this month's Genius Market Report. And remember that now more so than ever, who you work with makes all the difference. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Toronto Real Estate Genius. And if you found this information useful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and your friends. Until next time, ciao for now.